thank you for tuning into the warm up. I'm your host, Ashley Bullington. We are starting off our coverage of state tournament basketball this week, and we will have some exciting games coming at you as we crown champions on the girls' side and see who will be making the trip to San Antonio on the boys' side. So let's get you warmed up. This year's basketball season is winding down, and I, for one, am going to miss it. This weekend, we will see what boys' teams are going to make the trek to the Alamo Dome as the regional finals are taking place. But one team we know is at the state tournament is the Summer Creek Girls. Let's preview their state semifinal game right now in the lineup presented by Social Chips and Salsa. The Lady Bulldogs of Summer Creek have been magnificent all year long. They are currently 38-2 and two on the year and are riding a 20-game winning streak into state. The key to their success has been Auburn commit Caitlin Duhon. She's been counted on for big buckets that ignite huge runs that put games out of reach. But never underestimate her supporting cast of players like Teron Dieterville and Annalyn Murray. The Lady Bulldogs are ranked number two in the state and will have a tall task tomorrow night against number five, South Grand Prairie from North Texas. TAP State Tournament also takes place this weekend. A 5A favorite on the boys' side is the Woodlands Christian Academy. The Warriors are led by Osama Nine and Chase Perkins and will be looking to repeat as 5A champions. On the girls' side, the Village School is back in the state tournament in 6A. The Vikings are a young team but look to Honora Lee and Sydney Ward to pave the way to a championship. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. I'm so excited to see who brings home a state championship this weekend from San Antonio, but we'll see all the highlights on Inside High School Sports on Saturday. Now it's time for a battle to bring on some great athletes. You'll be seeing on the hardwood, but they're on our show here on The Battle. Okay, for the battle this week, we have some great athletes on with us. Guys, introduce yourselves. I'm Josh. Uh, I play forward and center at Seven Lakes. And a uh, fun fact about me is I like cars. Um, I'm AJ Bates, guard, um, and I like listening to music. I'm Taha Davis, one and two, and I love eating food. Ooh, eating food. That's one of my favorite hobbies, too. Um, okay, guys, who's going to take the battle title this week? I've got three of y'all this week, so which one of y'all is going to win? Definitely gonna be it's definitely going to be me. It's definitely going to be me. It's probably going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys well we are gonna play some basketball trivia are y'all ready yes, yes, yes. okay my first question is who was the first player in nba history to be elected league mvp by unanimous vote okay well, oh steph curry it is steph curry <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way <laughs> His the look on his face is great. I love it. Okay, question number two. Who was the youngest player to score 10,000 points in the NBA? LeBron James. It is LeBron James. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just going to I mean, well, along yeah. with it. Okay. What team owns the longest winning streak in NBA history? The Celtics? No. Phoenix Suns? No. Lakers? It is the Lakers. I, I didn't want to wow. say that. Wow. I was, I was they, really they've been losing them a while, so I, was, I didn't think like that. Yeah, I didn't think that. Okay. How many games did Wilt Chamberlain foul out of during his 14-year NBA career? Six. No. Two. No. Zero. Six. It is zero. Three. Bro, AD. Wow. Wow. It is right. zero. What jersey number did Carmelo Anthony wear during his Denver Nuggets career? 15. 15. Bro, I can't even get it out. Like, <laughs> I just know. I AJ, know. you are our, our battle champion this week. Do you have any words for our audience? Uh, not much. I just know my stuff. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on the battle this week. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you. As we said earlier, the boys start their regional tournament play tomorrow. We have a lot of teams hoping to make it to state. So let's take a look at some of the favorites in the hype.
In 6A, you have to look at a task to see that as a favorite in Region 3. Defense has been the name of the game for the Eagles as they look to slow down the game to their pace. They will have quality teams gunning for them in the regional tournament tomorrow. But with head coach David Martinez steering the ship, things are looking good for Atascacita. In 5A, Katie Pato has been rocking their opponents in the first few rounds of the playoffs. Trevor Frank controls the game for the Panthers, but Charles Chukwu and Cameron Ingram are good for a momentum-changing dunk from time to time. Pato will be hungry for another shot at top-ranked Beaumont United this weekend. And in 4A, Houston Washington has been making the most of their breakout season. Andre Walker, Kenneth Lewis, and Chris McDermott have led the way for the Eagles, who are gunning for a trip to San Antonio. Playoff basketball sure is exciting, isn't it? And we are going to bring you some great highlights over the next couple of weeks. But now it is time to see what's been highlighting in the world of social media in the buzz. Former Katie Pato head coach BJ Gott is now wearing maroon as he has been accepted as the Pearland Oilers head coach. He addressed his new squad with the message, all I want is your best. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for the Paraline program. It was on our show, but we have to show you once again, this final second buzzer beater the Bellar Cardinals gave us. You really can't get closer to the buzzer than this one, as Noah Newman threw it up for three to get Bel Air to the regional quarterfinals. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. By following those, we will get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend. Chevy's Inside High School Sports, Saturday at 11 p.m. on KOG 11, host by Matt Musel. I'm Asha Bullington. I hope you've gotten warmed up for all of the great hoops action coming at you this week.